Let me show you my go-to SEO WordPress plugin that I use. It's called SEO Press, and I'm going to show you how to use it right now. What's up, everyone? I'm going to show you SEO Press, and if you don't plan to use this one on your WordPress site, do grab an SEO plugin, even if it's not this one, okay? It's definitely a must get. Now, I'm on the pro version, but there is a free version available also, and that link will be provided in the description. Now, this is my website where I have installed SEO Press, and like I said, this is what I use for my website. Now, before I show you how to get around SEO Press, let me show you the sponsor for this video, which is Hostinger. They have great hosting plans and affordable plans. So if you want to grab one, link we provided in the description with an extra discount coupon code. Now, if you want to grab the discount coupon code, go ahead and go into hosting, grab one of the plans. So in this case, I'm going to show you their shared hosting plans. You can check them out right here. And then for this case, I'm going to grab this one, the most popular one, which is the business plan. Now, once you open this up, you're going to have to select the amount of months that you want to lock in the price for. For in this case, I'm going to select 48 months, which obviously is going to give you the lowest price and the lowest renewal price. So once you select that, the price right now, it's $167. But if you add my coupon code, which is SAS Master, it's going to drop down to $150 with 77 cents. So use that coupon code. Okay, so back to my WordPress dashboard where I'm using SEO Press. Now, one of the first things that you're going to be greeted with once you install SEO Press is the options to enable or disable functions. You might not need everything, so you can disable these if you're not planning to use them. Okay, so first of all, you got your meta and titles, which is a must for WordPress sites because it's going to let your search engines, uh, social media accounts and all that let you know what the title is and the description for this. Okay, so it helps you decide how much you need to add in that content so you don't go overboard or under that one. Okay, so let me show you an example with one of the posts. Here we go. Let me open one of the posts really quickly. Let me go into edit. Okay, and if we drop down here, go around here, we have our SEO settings. So you can see here the amount of characters for the title and the meta description. Now it's going to generate them automatically, or we can overwrite these right here. Okay. And they also have a J an AI generator, but it uses your own API open AI API key. So if you plan to use that, so in this case, I'll show you that later on. Okay. So you definitely need that. Okay. And the XML and HTML sitemaps. That's so again, search engines know how to get around your website. So they know what structure it has. So what connects one with another kind of like a water cascade. So it's all connected and it knows how it's going to flow. So if you jump into the main menu, it's going to go to this link and then that link and that other link. That's kind of like the site structure for that. Okay. Social media networks, the open graph, Twitter card, Google knowledge graph, this they must also. So if you share a post or a page on social media, it's going to know what information it has. So for example, the image, the title description, and you can change the title and description and image based on social media networks. So you don't have to base your titles and description from the main ones. Okay. Analytics is pretty much straightforward. You can connect your Google analytics, Matomo, Microsoft clarity, Microsoft clarity is free. There's also a video that in, on that on my channel, instant index. This is pretty good. So you can grab your API key from Google and automatically when you add a new page, it's going to ping Google and tell it that there's a new page. There's also for Bing Bing. You don't need any API key. It, it generates it automatically here on SEO press and it sends the information. Image SEO and advanced settings. So again, for SEO, like meta tags, the description and all that for the, the image redirections. So automatically create these in case there's an error, amazing page. It's going to redirect them to another page. Structure data types. You'll have to check that one out. Robot TXT again is telling what search engines need to search for and what they are not allowed to search for. So you can decide if they're, they're not allowed to jump into the, the admin area, kind of like that. The HT access, if you need to edit that. So it's like a little bit more advanced. If you need to edit kind of the structure behind the scenes of WordPress, local business, just in case this site is for local business, this one is not, but it lets you add the information where Google can capture it. And it has a structure on the search engines on how to format it. So it has the title, the directions of how to get to that, the physical store, etc. with this AI, which is what I'm using. So AI, once you add your API key, you have the option to generate titles and made a description. So let me click on this right now. Again, this is using my open AI API key. Okay. So it just generated the title and now it's going to generate the made a description. This is generated based on the content that this page has. In this case, I'm going to use it. So I'll just go ahead and save it. Then we have the breadcrumbs, enable breadcrumbs for your theme and improve your SEO and SERPs. So again, that helps out WooCommerce. This is not a WooCommerce store, but it will give you tweaks that have to do with WooCommerce. Easy digital downloads, improve easy digital downloads. I don't use that. 
Google Page Speed. So that's in case you want to get the analytics from Google Page Speed to, to know how your site is actually doing with speed. Google Search Console. So again, you have to connect that. Google News Sitemap, connect that also. So if this is about news or updates like that, you will connect your Google News. And again, it's going to structure it just like it's going to do it for the local business. Okay. Broken links. So scan the site and it's going to let you know what links are broken. So you fix those because search engines don't like broken links. Okay. Doubling core. Um, I don't use that, but it's available. You are already writing. I don't use that either. RSS. If you want to enable that, I don't use it. Tools and license. All of that you're going to get with SEO press. So you can start tweaking your site for your SEO settings. That way you can rank on search engines. Now, like I said in the beginning, if you don't plan to use SEO press, even if it's the free version, do grab another SEO plugin, but do use one because you will need it. Because if you just start making a site without an SEO plugin, the data is going to be all mixed up. Google, Bing is not going to know what's going on. Neither are the social media accounts going to know what's going on because they're, they don't know what information to grab, like the main image or an image, or maybe it has the main image, but it doesn't have the open graph to grab the image. So definitely use an SEO plugin, even if it's not this one. And that's a wrap for SEO Press.